Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from AgriMedSoft Research Company and here I want to show you differences between H-Lockup and V-Lockup. So, as you can see, the H-Lockup is used when your table is organized in rows and uh, you have a horizontal um, table. And VLOOKUP is used when you have a vertical table and your data are uh, actually organized in columns instead of rows. Okay, so that was a quick difference. And let's see how to do, how to go through HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP uh, functions. So let's say, but but before that, I wanted to explain when uh, you use uh, these lookup functions. So these are basically used when you want to find a data related to a known data. So you have a known data and you have unknown data. Uh, then what you will do is that you put an equal mark, then go for writing each lookup. And here the lookup value is what you know. So let's say here I want to uh, I want to understand what is the score for Emma. Okay, so the lookup value here is Emma. And I want to have this unknown data related to Emma. Then I go for table array. So this table array is where this function should um search in so i will select my uh, table and then it wants the row index number so basically excel goes to the top to the left top of your uh, table and starts counting so this is the row number one and this is the row number two so it wants to check out the row number two then it wants the true it wants to know whether to find the approximate match or exact match so here i want an exact match then i close the parentheses so then i close the parentheses and click okay so you can see here the score for emma is 68 and a tip here is that in age lookup, actually uh, you want to make sure that the data you want to um, actually find is in the same column, but in the different row. So I cannot go for like, uh, I cannot find the, I don't know, data related to Sophia with um, lookup value of Emma. You know what I mean? So you can just understand the data related to each other in one column. So they should be in one column, but different rows. So let's have another example in HLOOKUP. So let's say I want to know the score of ID number four, let's say. I hit equal mark, then I go for H lookup. Lookup value here is ID number four. Table array here is this table. Row index number is one, two, and three. So I go for three. Then I want an exact match. I close the parentheses, and you can see that this score. For ID number 4 is uh, 56. So let's move on to VLOOKUP and let's say I want to uh, have the score for Sophia here. So I hit equal mark then I go for typing VLOOKUP because this is uh, a vertical table. VLOOKUP then the local value is Sophia. Table array also is this table. Column index number. As I want this score, so it goes to 1 and 2. So this is the second column which I want to look in. Then I want to go for an exact match. 
I close the parentheses and you can see that the uh, actually uh, score related to Sophia is 82 so Sophia has gained 82 uh, in the final exam maybe so let's have another example for Villa Cup I put uh, an equal mark again I type Villa Cup so let's say I want to have the score related to ID number 6 so this is my lookup value the table array is this table column index number is 1 2 and 3 then the exact match is what I want you can see that the score for ID number 6 is 72 so the tip here is that VLOOKUP works in one row but different columns each lookup was the reverse side so it worked on one column but different rows VLOOKUP works in uh, one row but different columns so i guess that's it for today's video I hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video and bye